Yo, yo, welcome back to the Fallout 3 playthrough here at Trippy Commentaries. So, I'm RJ here with Justin, in. and now I, I am taking control of the Lone heart? Wanderer. And we have to tell Moira that we indeed went to the Super Duper Mart and what? recovered the supplies. You did? Well, all right. Now, one thing we tell have to do here, Justin, is we it. have to sell off all this excess uh, supply that we have on us. Yep. to get some money so most of the time we'll do this off screen that could be time consuming so it is in the end it pays off you're making stash. a lot of money hmm. that, that helps you upgrade your weaponry and restock your ammo monsters. which you're going to need plenty of well, keep what you got. i feel like they Just really perfected this this whole here. buying here. thing that they got going treat. on here in skyrim and right now it's a little bit clunky. You have to press X to submit the purchases and all this. So it's a little bit, like you said, time consuming. But at least you, you know, you shouldn't fuck up too many times, which I've tended to do in Skyrim. I accidentally sell some rare item. All right, so we just got the sanitizer. Do you use that in your travels? I have never used the sanitizer. It's worth a pretty good chunk of change, so we might as well sell it. Yeah, sell it back. Need That's to unneeded weight through a mind on LW right at this point. I'm going to want to basically uh, be a scavenger ourselves and try to pick up as many valuable Your items as we can. Bring them back to people like Moira yeah. and Does other vendors we meet and, and just try to stock up on caps. caps. Definitely. Moira is very useful. Uh, we just finished, of course, the first mission at the Super Duper Mark for her. Now we're going to move on to the minefield, apparently. We'll see what we have out there. There's definitely some useful items. Hmm. We aren't going to do that right away, but we will do that soon. <laughs> I'll hit you to the minefield. No worries. <laughs> oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. Ghost town, eh? ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. Sure. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back. Yeah, so for that one, you really don't have to do anything in particular. Just go to the playground and then come back. But right. there are some useful items that we can find there for sure. One more thing we're going to want to do before we head back out is, like we said, we're going to have to sell everything. Um, sure definitely time consuming. We're going to show this off screen most of the time. But for now, yep. basically what you're going to want to do is go to the items uh, menu which will list everything in order and just go through and try to sell all your excess stuff for example our 10 millimeter pistol is pretty good right now no need to carry two backups uh, we'll go ahead and sell that you sold the good one though did we yeah you sold the one that was worth 90. oops <laughs> good <Whoopsie>. call <laughs> this is a good thing that we have two people playing right cancel now. transaction <laughs> So, Myra, what do you have for sale? What do you... Yes, once again, this is why... I mean, what what's up with that? It's I guess it's by value for some reason. Right. The middle one, I don't know, whatever. What nope. can you do? Keep that one. I'm not a fan of this. What else don't we need? Armored Vault 101. No, we can, that's, that's what our, we're that, wearing That's our now. current armor that's really good. Yep, our uh, assault rifle five is in real small good guns. shape. Yep. We don't need this mac and cheese. We don't need this BB gun. Um, bottle cap mine, do you think we should sell those? Keep the bottle cap mines. They're really helpful with taking on death claws as we begin to explore. Definitely. And I think one thing we want to do, in fact, what we did off screen was get some more stim packs. Uh, both of us like to get a lot of stim packs. Yeah, gradually sure. we're going to keep adding more and more. We'll be up in the, you know, we're going to want to get a hundred. Yeah. Yes. Empty Nuka bottle. I don't think we have a need for that. Energy cell. Wow, man. We got quite a bit of those. That's Hold gonna on to those. come in handy. Hold on to those for We're sure. Definitely gonna have to use that that laser gun that we picked up here shortly. Let's see, she Food had, sanitizer. She's got thirty one more caps available. So let's go ahead and get all of them now. And we're gonna want to choose something from her to buy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This is just her ammo. So let's check out everything she's got. What are you thinking about possibly getting from Moira? If she has a better gun than we've got, let's see how you know how much it is. Should we get the coffee pot? Might need that. <laughs> we may need coffee inside the wasteland at some point. Um, I'd, I'd go over to the weapons ooh, category. She's got a lot of energy. Yeah. 
Um, just gotta look at everything. To the bottom of this, let me just go through. Well, this is pretty much everything. Frag grenade. I know you're a fan of those. Yep. We already have twelve, and it's probably plenty for now. True. Um, that's a good thing to buy from her. The schematics, because you can buy the rocket launcher, which is a pretty pretty good weapon. Um, shotgun shells. Okay. We. Uh, I'm, how much is this going to cost? 216, that's probably too much before I exit out. So that's pretty much everything there. So let's just get as much as we can as far as uh, Good hunting. as far as stim packs for now. I don't see anything. I mean, she does have shotgun shells, which I would like to get, but we'll yeah. hold off from now. We're pretty so early into the game. We don't really have a usable shotgun. That's one thing we're going to be looking to add at right. some point is another shotgun so we can combine it with the one we already have. All right, so Moira, you can take all that, and we're just going to get all your money back because we're going to sell this food sanitizer that you gave us. I mean, we're giving up on not getting radiation at this point. It's pretty much going to happen. Yeah, we're trying to go part mutant, you know, Toxic Avenger meets, you know, Mad Max. Where? Oh, here's Must some... embrace your environment, and if you're in a nuclear wasteland, <laughs> you know. Well said. Um, don't need that, and that, and that should be good for now. Uh, where was the thing here? Where, what's it called? Where are you? What did you give us? There it is, the food sanitizer. Perfect. And now we can head back good out hunting. into the wasteland. And before we I go venture it. to the minefield, I think we should just go exploring, just find... You know, something in the wasteland. Where are we going? Uh, well, I will say, actually, the first thing we're going to want to do, because I, I went to the doctor's office, and i got to say, Doc is overcharging. I'm not going to pay his outrageous prices to heal my broken leg. We are going <laughs> to go back to the same place that we went the last time to heal up, which, oh, hold on. Where are we going? Uh, let's go to the local map here. That's the world, actually, the world map. Okay, so there's the Super Duper Mart. We're going to want to go to the minefield, which should be somewhere around. But for now, we're just going to go to the Super Duper Mart. And I think we're going to head southeast from there and see what we can find. But the good thing, of course, as we showed off in the prior part, is uh, that we can come here and sleep for free. And that's, that's definitely helpful because it's free and it'll reheal you completely. Yeah, we're going to eventually have to find a, some kind of home base, mm -hmm. you know, a headquarters, the, where we can basically s stock our gear yeah. that we don't want to carry on us. And uh, there's a lot of valuable stuff that we can store, I yeah. mean, ar different armors and weapons. Which is, are all very heavy most of the time. Very heavy. And I got to say, that's definitely what I had in mind. It's funny you mentioned that because yep. that's pretty much what I had in mind. Right now, this is our makeshift home. Oy, let's get a good, good, good night's sleep because I like to travel in the daytime. It's easier to see. Not as creepy. Yep. Yeah. I mean, if you're going for the creepiness factor, it's definitely cool to go at night. But I'll tell you what, we're going to be going into some places that'll be plenty uh, creepy, that's for sure. In fact, we might even be doing that on this episode. We'll see. I really am not sure where I'm going. All right, you said you're heading southeast from the, you know, the sleep spot here. Which, as you can see, we have ooh, Rivet City. Rivet City what that has is. been identified. It's actually, you know what? I think I want to go more south. In fact, maybe even more southwest. I'm looking okay. for more in this area because this, I don't know what this area is. Uh, we Set will a marker soon find and out. off you go. Oh, I keep pressing the start button here. Yes, you are right. I should probably set a marker. And uh, there you go. We will move it. And which, so the marker is. It's that one, correct? I believe that's it. So here we go. We're off. We have vanquished the Super Duper Mart. Justin took care of that. Now I am under control here. I can do whatever I please. I can take us wherever I want to go. So what are we looking at around you here? I see a, like a water tower. A bunch of dead trees. Looks like some kind of factory or something that way. Yeah. Certainly at this point of the game, that's, you know... That's one of the things you're doing is just looking around and trying to identify something. You know, you see a water tower, but we've already visited a water tower earlier in the playthrough. Why, uh... Everything looks so desolate. 
for some reason I thought, you know what I'm wrong about is I thought that sleeping rehealed your life. Apparently I'm wrong about that. <laughs> right? right? Right on. I thought that um, yeah. that it re yeah, I thought it rehealed you. Oh well, well, I guess we're using some stim packs then. Guess not. Um, hmm. Uh, perhaps I've been playing too much Skyrim, I guess. I don't know. Alright, how do you go to the items? Here it is. We need to go to the aid category and let's use a stim pack. And that should be good enough for now. I don't need too much health. I don't think we're going to have to worry about too much here. Now, I like what you did here as far as the weapon wheel. Oh, don't want to use that. Uh, let's go ahead and equip the hunting rifle. It's not really in the best condition, so we don't want to overuse it. Not to right. mention we don't have a ton of ammo as well. But it's one of my favorite weapons. It's very useful at this point in the game, that's for sure. So what do you think about the controls? In uh, Oh, wow. What do we have over there? Is that possibly the Washington mm, Monument? Looks familiar. The, ca the Capitol Rotunda. Doesn't look right. So what do you think about the controls here in Fallout 3? They feel natural. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't played a game that used B as the menu, in-game menu. True. Other than that, felt pretty natural. You know, a lot of games use X to hide your weapon. This one you have to hold X, which right. takes some time well, to get used to. Well, that's what I meant, you know, use yeah. the X button. Though. Now, I would say one thing I would, I would say to describe the controls here is it's a little bit hard to master it at first, but once you do, it really does feel really nice. So we've been wandering here for quite a while and haven't found much of anything. Maybe we have found something now. What do we have here? Is this a burnt down house? Well, every once in a while, you can always tap the VATS button, which is RB, top right trigger, and then that'll detect people or enemies that are around you. So, hmm. and if it's kind of around a, you know, you, it's kind of a cheap way, but if especially like when you're in the dark and it's creepy. And you're not sure what's lurking around you. Sometimes you can't even see Sometimes something that's see directly anything. in front of you. Yep. So it appears as if this house has absolutely nothing in it, unless I missed it. I think we can successfully say that house is useless. Let's move on. Interesting. Whoa. Have some pretty big structures over here. Another Red Rocket gas station. This must be hmm. a reoccurring place. In fact, this one has a robot here as well. I don't believe this is Springvale. It certainly looks a lot different. Anything in the trash can? No. Nope. No dumpster diving today. So, this is a pretty interesting area over here. As you can tell, there's a lot to check out some buildings in fact we can go explore this building if we want let's shall we what is it car dealership oh boy here we go let's enter the car dealership <clears throat> that's an amazing thing about this game that you can just you know a lot of these buildings that you see in the distance you can enter enter and it's a whole nother level yeah that's for sure and there's so many places to explore that you know i've played through this game completely. I know you have as well, Justin, and I don't remember this place at all. I don't know what the hell's in here. I, it's just impossible to remember I every do. place. It was an early place I explored on my playthrough. Mm -hmm. um, nothing of great value here. No, no missions attached to this location that I know of. Really? How about this music, man? <laughs> Isn't, I mean, it's completely... Uh, it's amazing. It's, it, it's, it's creepy, and I, I love the full orchestra theme, and then it breaks down into these little, you know, really evil-sounding moments. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, okay, as I fall into the place, damn you, couch. So, looks like a whole lot of nothing, probably. Hmm. What is behind this door? Is this the exit? Okay, yeah, that's where we came from. So there's only really one more area. Check over to the left corner there. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like that's the only other area to explore here. So I guess this may just be filler. You gotta be careful. Every once in a while, these random uh, locations will have those comic books or magazines that are skill points. Okay, so you're supposed to get up here. I guess you gotta do a jump maneuver. Perhaps mm -hmm. that is the challenge. The long jump. Damn it. <laughs> need a running start. Oh, it, ah, here we go. I'm taking this way. See, so maybe, because that's the one thing that this game does have, is there's some hidden areas that you have to do platforming to get to, which you wouldn't think, because the game's not necessarily the best platformer, to say the least. <laughs> and right. what do we have over here? As you had mentioned... Oh, hello. A book secretly hidden back here. I mean, there's no other way to get up here right. than to jump. So they really do force you to do platforming. They you, do. You walk around and you're not thinking you're doing a bunch of that, but they, they really do expect you to. So we got that. So which one was that? Let's take a look. It was, uh, what was it, flamethrower? U.S. Army, 30 handy flamethrower recipes. Big guns increased by one. Nice. Hell yes. And do we have anything up here? I don't think there is anything, really. But I think that's a good... You never know. This this is the game where you never know what could be where. Yeah. And I think that was a pretty cool place for us to show off here at first because it just shows you the extent of our you know what we're going to have to scavenge here. You think that right. it's going to be some basic, okay, you know, here, let's go, go into this room, yada, yada, yada. But no, you definitely got to be on the lookout. In fact, I remember some places um, it, that we'll be exploring where you look straight up and in the roof, there's like a hole broken off in the roof, barely. It's hard to even notice. And uh, inside the, the actual hole is like some really good items. Hmm. Hmm. Another bonus of exploring the map early on, I, th I think you mentioned it earlier, mm -hmm. you discover locations and you get experience. And then once these locations are discovered, you can fast travel to them anytime, which we're going to make a lot of use of yeah. coming up. There you have a crater. Whoa. Oh, who, who we goes got? there? Who's this? Uh, He's a friendly. I would kill him, but he looks like he doesn't have any valuable things at all. Well, you never know. He might have some gold or something. We'll let him go free this time. I think he's out on his morning jog. Now that uh, now I'm kind of regretting not killing him, but we'll just take it out on the next person. So you gotta say this place is pretty barren to start off with. It almost was surprising to me how yeah. empty it is. Oh, what was that? Hmm. What do we have here? But yeah, so you know, I, I was kind of surprised about that. I figured there would be more guys around and all that. Now, the thing is, it's pretty much on a leveling system so I think the higher you go in level you're gonna see more guys throughout the wasteland so put your gun away maybe as you approach this person we come in peace they look like they have a nice little uh, situation here mm. they killed someone we will gladly take their valuables we do need to upgrade our helmet that's true ooh ooh Big kind of like five. This. That's those are good. We'll bonuses. switch that out here in a second. Let's let's. Uh... So this guy's a scavenger, and he didn't scavenge those Hello. people's hey bodies hey for items yet. Well, we we actually walked up at looked like he this chick was killing that person as we walked up. So we probably oh, okay. Her that's what him. we saw. Um, she can repair stuff for you. That's handy. <laughs> yep. Bye. But Bye. Uh, I think uh, kind of going against what we're gonna do I think we're gonna let her live for now unless we see something that's handy I'm not seeing anything too good what do you right. think Should we, we let could her always live? break into her uh, she does know, the treasure have there later on Ooh. Did the thank you we'll take her tails from a jerky <laughs> town vendor yeah which will I believe help out our bartering mm -hmm. and that's a big deal man Plus one is a lot. All right, so let's continue forth. I really don't know where I'm going, if it's not obvious. <laughs> um, I'm pretty much just looking. Let's let's look at the old map, shall we? What do 
we have here? Hmm. Mm. I think we shall go this way. So, one thing you'd mentioned earlier is one thing I we really want to do is find a home base. Yep. I think that's one thing we're kind of on the lookout for earlier, on top of just getting some valuable items so we can get more money, because we certainly need to get definitely more cash or more bottle caps, because we're broke right now, and our stuff is really not that good in the long run. Yeah, and at some point I'd recommend... Uh, early on in the game, we found those outcast Brotherhood guys in the red armor. Correct? You think we should kill them? I think if we could find one or two of those guys alone, and we could raid them, you know that that armor would help us tremendously. That 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 kind of upgrade from what we're using now. What do we All have right, here? So I always like to sneak up. Uh oh. And uh, well, uh, apparently approach them with caution. I did not take your advice. This is where a sniper would really come in handy. Exactly. I like to do. I like to really put points in early on the sneak, and then be able to approach them with a, some kind of long-range rifle and take them out before they. And plus, you get a critical oh, hit if you're in sneak mode. You get, like I said earlier on the screen, you're you get a critical hit. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little Call of Duty action here. All right. Now this is one thing I kind of want to show off right here that I think is going to come to our benefit. Now, right now, it looks like I might be in trouble, but this is a good way to get out of trouble. What you do is you come over here. First of all, you're going to want to go to aid, and let's go ahead just to show it off. Let's uh, don't use a quantum. Yeah, not a quantum. What is it? The jet. Let's use a jet just yep. once. We, you know, we don't want to use those too much. We definitely want to keep those around. But let's go ahead and equip a frag grenade. Oh, hold on. Hit the wrong button here. Definitely takes time getting used to the controls. There we go, and it's also kind of lagging for some reason. All right, so there we go, frag grenades. Let's go ahead. As you see, they're both standing Ooh. together. <laughs> Two for the price of one. And I think this should probably do the trick. Catch. Oh, boy. Oh, oh crippled your leg. Him. Here's another one. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> You're dead. And one more. Let's <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Ah, let's finish them off with a grenade. I hate to use three, but I just wanted to show it off here from the get-go. It's basically a great way to get yourself out of trouble. Classic right there. Man, stim packs really are not working that good. I think when we level up, we really got to put some points into medical. Okay. Because they're just not helping out a ton right now. Pack of cigarettes. No, thank you. Um, all right, so we've made it out of that one alive. What else do we have here? A lot of stuff going on. Perhaps we are venturing into an area we should not head yet, as it is a little bit. We're already seeing some pretty uh, aggressive people around here. Oh, here we go again. Okay, let's go ahead and... Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Oh, no. Darn it. <laughs> we are... Hopefully this works. Damn you, LW. Your aim is pathetic. <laughs> What's the... Uh, I use a stim pack. Is there a run one. button in this game, do you remember? I, can't, I don't think there is. Now the one thing we have that's an issue right now is we are crippled. It's not a good thing. Yeah, you can put a stim pack individually on a limb and that'll help uh, out. No. You have no ammo. I uh, ran out of ammo. Hey, we do not have a lot of ammo at this time. Um, let's go ahead and, I'm not a big fan of this Chinese pistol, but at this point he's pretty much dead. So let's go ahead and use this just to finish him off. Right in the head. And damn, <laughs> he's still going. Shot him in the nuts. He's dead. Oh, he's got a submachine gun. Wow, Excellent. that's a great weapon. Nice. We're already getting close to full here on weight, so let's go ahead and try to ravage a couple things. He was protecting this area here, so I'm sure. Whoa! What's he got? 
Everything's blowing up, damn it. We didn't look at it, though, if you notice. Cool guys don't look at explosions. What do we have here? Is there a whole lot of nothing here, apparently? Ooh, a conductor. Can, ooh, another magazine, perhaps? Ooh, another flamethrower recipe. Flamethrower recipes. Sometimes you can find some good stuff in the oven. Um, pilot lights come in handy to make some other stuff. You can get the uh, directions to make weapons and whatnot. And a lot right. of times you have to use those. So let's go ahead and use this right away. And it gives us another one for big guns, man. We probably should start to use big guns here eventually. All right, so let's find a couple more things here. Let's try to raid one or two more locations. We're going to want to head back and sell off the stuff. And we're going to want to probably see the doctor because at this point we're crippled. In fact, you said we can use a stim pack on a particular item or a limb. Yeah, on a limb. And that's what we're going to want to do. Because what do you think? I mean, you never really want to be crippled. That's a really bad thing. Right. You okay. move slower. How do you? There we go. We'll just use one for now. In fact, that I kind of used too many there. Oh well. Man. So, uh, what do you? So where are what we at? What, what part of the the map is this? Is this like DC uh, Georgetown? I mean, I don't. I don't, I don't think it's Georgetown. Let's take a look at the yeah, map. I at? just have to find it. Arlington. I'm trying to master the menu screen. <laughs> yeah. Um, we are pretty much almost to the southern end of the map. And All right, I say go uh, due west now. Just yeah, northwest. Around, yeah. Northwest. Oh, I see a couple red blips on your map, and you are being fired upon. Do some maneuvers. And... Perfect. Hopefully this is close enough as we have realized that LW's aim is not really that good right now. Oh, we have a reload in the works. That sucks. Of course no, so. Nothing we could do about it, unfortunately. Always go for the head. <clears throat> gotta always go for the head, man. Yeah. I just figured maybe. I don't want to miss at this point, but right, this Chinese pistol is terrible. I shouldn't have used that. Oh no! What are you doing? I'm surrounded. Ah. He's a real weapon. <laughs> I know, right? Ah, oh, man, the Chinese. You are unprepared. Man, our stim packs are not looking good. We're out. So let's go ahead and kill these guys. Damn this menu, so hard to master. Okay, so how do you uh, go into your? There it is. It's stats, stats and condition, of course. All right, our body's crippled. That's not a good thing. And what weapon are you thinking we should use here? That is your call, man. <laughs> what do you got? You're putting this one on me. Um, I'd probably use the... Are we out of... Oh, there you go. Hunting rifle works. Yeah, let's use the hunting rifle. That's probably going to do pretty good. Now, you can tell that these guys are pretty tough around here. So, perhaps we have ventured a little bit too far. I could see why you wanted... Need to go north. All right, time to die, Raider. Ooh. And children, this is why you use the hunting rifle. All right, we shall take your items. Thank you, sir. And we have this bastard. Another one there to the left. Whoa! Oh, that's okay. You've moved positions. Get ready for a shot to the face. There, Luckily, Raider. they're horrible aims as well. How do you like that? Oh! To the dome. Gonna have to kill him manually here. Ducking will not save you, sir. Ooh, double reload. Ah! Oh, I can get him real quick. Oh, come double on! Die. Damn it! <laughs> Son of a! We How will, did you miss? We will not die. Just die. Oh, I'm at point blank range, you <laughs> bastard. Are you kidding me? How could I have possibly missed? Why are you aiming for the torso? It does nothing in this game. Apparently, jeez. What the hell? Make it stop. Okay, we really don't want to face too many people here. And we still have some uh, 
I still have some weight left. Oh boy. I don't know if we want to go into this structure. This may be more than we can. We're going to hold off on that. <laughs> we might being. bite off more than we could chew. The Nuka Cola plant. This is a Ooh. very important landmark on the map. Wow. Yeah. We'll be checking that we'll, out. We will be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. What do we have here? The Nuka Cola machine. We gladly accept. You'd think that other people would have already taken that soda. I mean, it's sitting there for anybody to see. There's nothing hidden in the mailbox. Well, I was kind of looking for a certain place, but I have failed to find it. I really wasn't sure where it was, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of uh, wandering aimlessly. There is one distinct uh, building in this area. Mm-hmm. What are you thinking? Well, I'll, 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 I'll see if you can find it. Interesting. Um, very poignant structure. I think I know what you are referring to, possibly, but... In this vicinity. Not. What do we have up here? This area worries me. I will crouch. This should be the last area that we'll check out in this part. And in the next part, we will venture to the minefield and see what's going on over there. Ooh, what do we have here? A bunch of metal boxes. <laughs> Is it going to be a bunch of useless shit? Pretty much. I see why you don't check the metal boxes. It's starting to catch on. There's got to be something up here. Now, here we oh, go. There we go. Dean's Electronics. Man, we found a lot of books. We are quite the uh, nice. book historian here. Let's read Dean's Electronics. Repair. Repair. We needed that. Nice. Thing in there. Foot Locker. Some Nikes. Five uh, bottle, caps. bottle caps. That's it. At least we got the book. So is there anything else around here that you can see? Yeah, there's, an, <clears throat> there's an endless amount of things in this game <laughs> to... Uh, I don't know where to begin. And I gotta say, one thing we really gotta mention when it comes to this game is no two playthroughs are gonna be anywhere alike you know they're going to be completely different the first time i played this game we probably took completely different paths yep from the first time you played this game so thank you guys for joining us for this installment as we adventured through the capital wasteland we found a car repair shop and now we are back to this person so perhaps we can hey sleep in her bed and sell our items to her yep. and head back out into the wasteland where we have some pretty interesting places to check out in the next episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. See you guys there.